My name is Lisa Cooper Ellison. I am an author, speaker, trauma-informed writing coach, and trauma survivor diagnosed with complex PTSD. I grew up in a violent, chaotic home with parents who'd been raised in a violent, chaotic home by people who were also raised in violent, chaotic homes, and I could trace this back for generations. As a toddler, I learned that the easiest way to stay safe was to shut down my feelings and attend to everyone else's needs while ignoring my own. By the time I started kindergarten, people pleasing was a big part of who I was. Most of the time, I couldn't tell you what I wanted or how I felt. But when I turned eight, something magical happened. The Judy Bloom diary showed up at my school's scholastic book fair and because it was almost my birthday, my mom let me order one. In the opening pages of the diary, Judy said that she'd created it in response to the reader she'd met who'd often say they had no one to talk to. She promised that this was a safe place where I could record what I was thinking and feeling. Well, I'd gotten to a place where I trusted no one, something inside me said to trust this book. So I did. And when I filled the pages of that diary, I got another. I kept writing for years, believing it was part of my life's purpose, but that belief competed with another story. One that said I didn't have what it took to be successful. I wasn't smart enough or talented enough or whole enough to do this. So even though I had a lifelong dream of being a writer and writing instructor, I pursued other careers. But dreams deferred have a way of finding you. In 2012, a complicated case of Lyme disease stole everything I cared about. Not just my career as a mental health counselor, but my energy, vitality, and my ability to think, function. I couldn't even read a book. As I wandered around in a fog of pain and flu-like symptoms, something told me writing could save me. So I took a mindful writing course and for the first time I felt no pain. For the next four years, I used writing as a mode of healing and while it wasn't the only thing that made me well, it was an integral part of my recovery because it didn't just help me understand what had happened to me, it helped me rewire my nervous system and tap into my resilience. I've spent the past seven years teaching writers how to write their resilience because when we tell better stories about ourselves, we live better lives. Because we have an infinite capacity for resilience, I'm constantly on the hunt for new strategies. And I'm fascinated by the way people use their resilience to write into their darkness and create stories that open our hearts and make us braver humans. This podcast is an opportunity for us to expand our understanding of what resilience is and how writing can help us become more fully who we are. This podcast includes interviews with writers of tough stories, people who've developed incredible grit and professionals in the field of psychology and healing who've studied resilience as they've worked to treat others. My hope is that each week you'll come away with one gem that helps you feel a little safer, be a little braver, and flip the script on the stories you've been operating from because when we do this work, we don't just change our stories, we create space for others to do this work too. Judy Bloom started this journey for me. That diary sits on my bookshelf next to my desk as a reminder that all it takes is one person and one page to get started. My name is Lisa Cooper Ellison. I'm a resilient writer and I want you to be one too.